We have breaking news for anybody out there uh, who's following or interested in or focused on the Dallas-Fort Worth real estate market. Uh, housing in Dallas, things might just be changing. This is unprecedented for a place like Texas, okay? Dallas is considering restricting home sales for real estate investors, right? Doing this to try to curb uh, home price increases. What does this mean for folks investing in the Dallas-Fort Worth housing market? What's happening? What's going on? Why, what, who, where, when, how? Let's break it all down right now. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you guys unpack real estate topics. I'm here to answer your questions. And man, I got a question today. What is going on uh, down there in Texas, man? Woo, dude. Oh, do not California my Texas. Am I right? This is not something... Uh, that I would anticipate seeing in a state like Texas. But here's what's going on. Here's the background, okay? Uh, so you got the Dallas-Fort Worth area, right? Your typical average house last year, 2021, in Dallas, right? The average price to set house, you're looking at a price point of about $275,500, all right? You fast forward to 2022, right? As you all know, everything in the world, in America, is incredibly expensive these days. Gas, food, labor, housing, right? So those same homes, right, are now at a price point of approximately $345,000 in 2022. For those of you not amazing at math, that is an average increase of about $69,000, okay? Now, if you're curious, this is like the kind of house I'm talking about. This is a prime example of like a typical average Dallas-Fort Worth home, okay? This is what has gone up about $69,000 in the Dallas market over the last year, okay? And as you can see, it's just like a normal, regular home. Like, it's such a cookie-cutter home, right? You got, like, look, it's <laughs> like every house on the same street is essentially identical, right? So this is a very good example of... Uh, of your typical scenario here that we're talking about, right? And this one, uh, they just put it on Zillow a couple days ago, listed it at three hundred forty-eight thousand. Just a you know normal, normal little middle-income, mid-class home, four beds, two baths, seventeen hundred sixty-two square feet, right? If you guys are trying to Google it or something to see what it ends up selling for, it's nine ninety-two forty-one Wood Covert Way, Fort Worth, Texas. All right, now. This is just shows you how hot the market is, right? It's been on Zillow for approximately five days. It's already had 1,305 views, 79 people saved it, and they've already received multiple offers. So they're already in a bidding war situation, right? So it's fair to say the housing market in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is on fire. And if you guys are curious, right, it's nothing amazing. It's nothing fancy, right? It's, you know, it's I mean, it's nice, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but, it, you know. It's just your typical cookie cutter mid grade builder home, okay? And it's up about 69K, right? And that's what leads us to the story what's happening, what's going on, what's out of control, in my opinion, right? Just this article just came out yesterday from Fox 4 KDFW, right? And I got the link to it below. Uh, but I mean, the article is actually very quick, right? Uh, Dallas considers restricting home sales for real estate investors. The city of Dallas may consider limiting the number of homes real estate investors can buy, right? I don't think of Texas, the state of Texas, when I think of these type uh, of market manipulation, market restrictions, right? When you think of uh, some state that would do that, it'd be California, right? Texas is not the state that you'd anticipate the government overstepping the bounds of the free market, man. <laughs> Don't California my Texas. I mean, California, sure. This is the kind of stuff we expect out of California, right? We've done many shows on the restrictions 
uh, of the housing market in California that are insane, right? Three, four-year moratoriums on evictions, uh, penalizing people for flipping houses in California, taxing investors who leave their homes vacant in California. You see, if you put a tenant in there and they don't pay rent and they steal from you in California, you ain't allowed to evict them. Uh, if you try to sell your house, there's a penalty for selling your house. And if you just hold your house, but hold it vacant so you don't get stolen from and you don't have to deal with the penalty for selling your house, uh, they also fine you for leaving it vacant. That's California, folks. Is Texas going in the same direction, right? Are they going to California, Texas, man? Uh, here's the article. It was incredibly uh, just quick, right? Uh, City of Dallas may consider limiting the number of homes real estate investors can buy. The move would aim to tackle the rising home prices across the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Median home prices in North Texas jumped 22% year over year in March. Combined with higher mortgage rates, many individual buyers are getting priced out of the market. So then Dallas, director of housing, uh, oh, this is sad. This is, this is the worst part, right? The, the, only, the only thing I could think of. It's worse than Texas following California's lead on housing uh, policy would be following Canada's lead. Am I right? Uh, so Dallas Director of Housing explained how Canada tackled the problem. Are we working on a bigger policy re regarding the scourge of investment buyers? It is across the country where individuals are no longer buy homes, but uh, REITs, that's a real estate investment trust, uh, are, asked Dallas Councilwoman Janie Schultz. Canada restricts how many foreign investors can come into your market and buy up your real estate, said David Nogura, the Dallas Director of Housing. Canada banned foreign investors from buying homes for two years, along with considering its own policy, the city may push for state legislation because they want to be more like Canada, right? And that story, uh, that's been around for a little bit, how Canada uh, is banning investors from buying homes. Now, truth be told, I haven't looked into that too deeply yet. I did hear about that, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, something like that, I think. Uh, maybe not that long ago, but I did hear about that story. But uh, I haven't really looked into it too much at this point because, I mean, like, let's be honest, dude, it's Canada. Like, Canada sucks. I, I don't even like Canada. Like, I hate that country. I don't like hockey. I don't like the snow. And, uh, you know, I don't like socialism. So uh, I'm not, you know, really paying too much attention on Canada. I also don't like coin money, right? Like, dude, in Canada, like, the dollars, the $2, they got like, I don't know, it's up to like $5. It's like coins, dude. Coin money, get that out of here, Canada. Come on, man. Coin money, Christ. But uh, it's just shocking to see this type of thing going on in such a red location like Texas, right? Again, you anticipate this kind of craziness happening in Canada, right? In Canada... Your freedoms, <laughs> they're eroded on a daily basis, right? And then if that trickles into America, of course it's going to happen in a place like California, right? I mean, leaving California, people are just expecting California to do wacko stuff like that. But now it's starting to infiltrate other uh, reasonably uh, governed locations in the United States of America, like Texas, right? And if something like this happens in Texas... Uh, that's going to be a shock to the system, and that's probably going to affect how investors uh, are looking to invest in real estate across the country, right? As far as what's going to happen next, uh, this is all the information that is out there. As I said, the article is very quick, very fast, very to the point. Nothing has been set in stone, uh, but what we can see based on what the housing folks down there in the Dallas-Fort Worth area are doing is they are looking at what Canada is doing as an example of what to do. It appears that that is something that they are interested in doing. So uh, we will be following up on this story with more updates on the Dallas-Fort Worth housing uh, saga to see how far uh, this gets pushed. Also, we'll be looking more into exactly what's going on up there in Canada with their band. Let's see what the pros and cons of that are. Right, again... Not usually too focused on what the damn Canadians are doing. Uh, I don't really 
think the Canadian real estate model or any governing in Canada should be looked at as a beacon of hope or anything like that. Uh, but I guess we're going to have to dive into that deeper because what they're doing in Canada is apparently – uh, possibly on the way for what's happening down there in Texas. So Texas investors, if y'all are thinking about continuing to invest in the state of Texas, buying properties in Texas, uh, this is definitely something that you're going to want to pay attention to because this is absolutely uh, going to have long-lasting effects on the housing market, uh, long-lasting effects on your ability uh, to buy and sell real estate down there in Texas, right? So this is no small story. I know there's not a robust amount of details out there just yet, but it looks like the Wokies are, are pushing past borders, pushing past state lines, getting out of places like California and infiltrating uh, more conservatively regulated areas. So let's pay attention to this, folks. We got to really see what's happening and oh, by the way, before you guys jet out of here, if you are interested in real estate investing uh, and you're looking to invest in the best cash flow markets, the markets that have the most favorable landlord tenant restrictions uh, below this video, you can click the notes and book a free call at my team because that's what we help investors do. We currently run a $75 million portfolio. We've helped thousands of investors across the world invest in areas that make sense for investors, right? So if you happen to be living somewhere and the Wokies come to your town and they just strip away your rights, uh, they take away your freedoms and it's time to move your money elsewhere, we can help you accomplish that. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.